Mm, yep. Hi. Group here before was much better. Hi. 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 This is uh, Francois Lovell, and he'll be talking to us about what's up in Haiku at the Boston 2020 Distribution Center. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm not sure I would have the time to uh, make a demo. Oh, well, let's try anyway. Oh, that's not the one. Uh, yeah. French. Yeah, I speak English, but yeah. Um, I already made a partition, but, uh, yeah, <coughs> installed anyway. <coughs> so, uh, what's Haiku? Haiku is a free uh, software <coughs> operating system. Oh, it's done already. Ha, ah, DD. Oh. Uh, you actually have to put the boot sector and, uh, Install the boot manager. You can actually use Grub. Yes, yes, it's dangerous. I know. Reboot. <coughs> um, so Haiku is a free software operating system. And it's um, inspired by the BOS, which used to be a proprietary operating system in the uh, 90, late 90s. Um, and it, we have our own kernel and our own uh, graphical interface, and here we are. We're inside Haiku. Uh, I just do something for the, the demo, and we're done. Uh, I do have a CD record package here, and oh yeah, okay. um, if I search CDR, if I remove the package from the active package directory. Yep. Uh, I could zoom in, but... I never tried. Ah. Gee. Oh, great. It's a bit weird, but... So, I just removed the CD record package, so... Uh, no CD record anymore. Um, if I put the package back, yeah, it doesn't like it, but oh. it's back again. And that's for the demo because I don't have much time. Yeah, that's still a bug to resolve, but. So, as I said, uh, it's a free software operating system. Um, uh, we started in just after the P uh, Inc. demise, uh, and it took us like 17 years uh, to get a first beta, because we take our time. Um, there are several recommended platforms, uh, mostly um, Intel-based. Um, the first one is the recommended one if you want to uh, uh, also run BOS uh, binaries, which are getting quite rare now. Um, but you can use the latest GCC uh, if you don't, don't mind. Uh, there's also a um, 64-bit uh, image, which works quite well. And some more exotic platforms, uh, which I won't get into detail because uh, they don't boot anyway yet. We do have nightly builds. Um, uh, it's been going on for uh, quite some time now. Um, they can be updated live, uh, and uh, updates are transactional. I will get into it uh, later. We are getting to beta 2, um, real soon now, as we say. Um, and we have a build infrastructure, which is uh, getting quite, uh, quite good. So uh, it's easier now than for the, the first beta. Uh, but you still can find um, DVDs from uh, the latest beta. So you need to ask uh, Adrien, which is uh, over there. Um, we don't have any stickers anymore. Uh, we, ha we have to make new ones. Uh, we started optimizing because a long time ago we used to uh, boot with 40 megs of RAM. Um, but yeah, uh, it's getting there. But the you can actually boot Haiku, but you can't install it with uh, that that low, low RAM level. But yeah, and some various improvements. And we started to clean up because for the other platforms. Uh, 
the GLPC uh, was a mess because we had to stick to an old GLPC for BRS compatibility. So for newer platforms, we just imported uh, some stuff from uh, the Merzl uh, C library for uh, mathematics uh, operations, uh, at least. We did some stuff on the security side, but if you're a security expert, we do need some help. Well, we started from a very low level. Uh, we still run apps as roots. I know it's bad, but, well, it works. We have many more drivers this time, and we still support floppy disks. <coughs> yeah, well. Um, we did have vector icons for some time now um, with a custom format, which is much smaller than SVG, so you, we can actually store them um, uh, alongside the, the inode um, for some files. Um, uh, but the GUI used to have like 8x8 uh, eight eight pixel uh, stuff in some places, so now it scales with the, the system font size. So you just have to set the font size to, uh, like, say, uh, 18, p uh, 18 points, and it just scales everything up. We do support some uh, theming, so you can actually uh, make Haiku look as ugly as CDE or Windows 3. Um, for yeah, a bit of, uh, about packaging. Uh, we used to don't really have a proper packaging format in BOS. Uh, some use zip files that you unzipped where you want it. It, it worked at the time. Um, we did have some PKG files with a click, 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 and yeah, well. Uh, but they didn't have any uh, dependency management, so uh, it, was, it was a mess. Uh, with Haiku, we started with some scripts that just downloaded zip files and unzip them, but it's, yeah, same, no dependency package management. Uh, so now uh, we have uh, had the packaging infrastructure for quite some years now. Uh, well, we have a package folder with all the packages inside. They are a compressed file with our own format and some other uh, state files. Um, by default, all the packages that are in there are active, but you can actually uh, change this. Uh, and when you do an upgrade, you can actually um, get, go back to the previous states because they are uh, s saved. And uh, the, the update is transactional, so the, all the, f the old files are moved to uh, this folder, and either it, it updates or it doesn't update, but uh, it, sh it should work. Uh, so basically, as I showed you, installing Haiku is just copying 400 files, and that's it. And updates are also uh, quite fast. We also have a package file system, which is a virtual file system, which mounts all the active packages content um, in the file system. Uh, there are some uh, shine-through directories, which you can actually use to install manually, like dot slash configure dash dash prefix equals as is our user local uh, directory if you would if you want there's a tool called haiku porter which uh, you can run to uh, build packages from recipes we have uh, a repository of recipes which, which is called haiku port which you can find on github uh, we didn't reinvent the wheel we just took the packaging name, naming from uh, gentoo and yeah, the recipes are basically shelf, uh, shelf scripts. We do have several interfaces to this. Uh, there's uh, Haiku Depot to search and install uh, software. There's a software updater. There's also uh, a tool to um, get the old BOS package files and create a, a proper Haiku package for them. And then there's a command line interface because, well, not everyone uh, knows how to use a GUI. The, this was a bit challenging because, um, well, some people complain when, when we introduced the package management because they say, oh, no, it's not the BOS way. Well, actually, it is the BOS way because it's simpler, it, it's uh, cleaner, it's faster. So, well, um, on the bright side, we get almost reproducible builds. We probably have to uh, patch GCC to uh, make this uh, fully uh, reproducible. Uh, but it means that when you create a package, you actually have to have all the dependencies built already, so you get cyclic dependencies and everything. And some parts of Haiku actually need Haiku to, to build. So 
there, are, there is a, a high coupon cross um, um, repository with uh, a few uh, recipes for a uh, cross build package, but we don't always uh, check it. And also, um, applications tend to put config files everywhere. And when you use uh, language based package managers like pip, it wants to add a line in the, in the file telling that there is a directory with packages inside. So, uh, yeah, but it's doable. Uh, so, as I said, updates are fast. Uh, you can actually find uh, where a file, com a file comes from uh, by reading a, an extended attribute, uh, and you are quite <coughs> sure the binary didn't change because it's read-only anyway. <coughs> you can also uh, blacklist files like uh, broken Wi-Fi drivers from the base package, uh, either at boot or permanently. And as I said, you can boot previous uh, states um, if something breaks, which sometimes uh, happen. Like last week, we broke the, the bootloader, uh, which is a bit problematic because the, the stage one, the first sector of the disk, uh, only knows how to locate the, the primary one and not the, the previous ones. Uh, but it's not that hard to fix. <coughs> Uh, the transaction directories, uh, we cannot restart from them, so you have to re-download everything when there's a, a checksum error or something, but maybe we'll fix this. And it uses a, a bit more memory, but we are quite conservative, so it's not that bad. And we found out we catch like two or three times the package content, so uh, it's better now. Uh, I don't have many numbers to show you, but uh, for now we have uh, more than 4,000 uh, packages, uh, recipes on Haiku ports, so packages. Um, we have even more recipes in Haiku ports, none of them are buildable yet. And we have three other um, smaller repositories with uh, 1,500 packages, so uh, it's not that bad. And we don't pretend to run on servers, so we don't have, well, we actually have a, an Apache package, for example. And I have uh, more than 600 packages on my uh, development uh, virtual machine. It works quite well. I, I was scared uh, a bit uh, when we started it because uh, I, I wasn't sure if it would scale correctly, but it's not that bad. Uh, so now that I convinced you that uh, you should port your application to Haiku because it's much better. Um, well, <coughs> some people say, oh, that's not POSIX, that's not Unix. Yeah, well, we don't pretend to be Unix. We do have enough support uh, of POSIX not to be bothered with it, uh, but well, Often, when I port applications, I found uh, Linux calls directly inside the code without any proper checks. And the same people who say we are not POSIX, they don't even bother to add proper checks for Linux syscalls. So, well. And, well, like POS uh, did I notify stuff like, like 20 years ago, but just differently. Besides, I notify is not really POSIX anyway. So, it's usually okay to have fallbacks. You want to modularize your code uh, because if def is not always the proper way, uh, sometimes you just write a base class and subclass the, this uh, depending on the platform or the feature you want. Uh, and sometimes things can just be an option. You don't always have to uh, make them mandatory. So it's usually okay to have fallbacks. Oh, yeah, I say this already. Uh, just a small example, uh, putting a Qt keychain, which I needed for something. Uh, it was quite easy. I just uh, replaced some if this to, uh, to make them cleaner and uh, changed like 17 lines and added a file, and that's it. And it got merged. Uh, one big don't, you don't want to return negati negative error codes because we already have them uh, negative, and it's bad. Um, Besides, POSIX changed their mind at one point. So uh, BOS wasn't wrong at the time. Uh, build tools are quite OK. Just make sure you check for the features you need. <laughs> um, compilers, well, for system uh, libraries, we use GCC2, but otherwise, it's, it's quite OK. X11, well, what to say? Uh, you may want to isolate the X11 code from the logic of your application. Um, and Wayland users will thank you. Uh, for Qt, it's quite okay. Again, X11 stuff. Uh, we actually had to clean up uh, these in some ported apps. Um, 
the only problem is OpenGL for now. As an example, I, I tried to port the next cloud client, but then it said, oh, I need the Qt web engine, which is actually a Chromium fork, and Chromium is a WebKit for, fork, and it maintains, uh, they, are, they are maintaining their own force of the dependencies, so we, had to, we would have to maintain two uh, ports of uh, Chromium and three ports of the dependencies, so it's, well. On the other hand, the own cloud client just built, uh, I just had to implement the specific uh, iNotify-like uh, functions. Uh, you may want to fix your toolkit because uh, <coughs> sometimes you, you think you need something in the toolkit, but you are afraid of touching it, so you work around it. And that's bad. That's bad. There is a great article about it on Linux Weekly News. Uh, there are many areas where you can contribute to Haiku, uh, coding, of course, uh, either porting or fixing the, the base system. Uh, you can translate uh, apps for the system and nice vector icons and stuff like that. We already have uh, a nice source of contributors like uh, GSOC, which we participated uh, several times. We um, did uh, GCI like uh, from the beginning, and it's it's really nice. It's a quite a lot of work because you have to check that students do uh, things correctly, but it's it's nice. And we did uh, Alfredi once, uh, and we have uh, the the student here. Uh, so yeah, and some contributors uh, actually stay with the project, so uh, that's great. So, uh, well, if you want to help, uh, the slides have uh, clickable links uh, in the PDF, so uh, don't hesitate. You can even donate money if you, ha if you have some. Mm. Yeah, I think that's it. Well, that was fast. <laughs> so if you have uh, any question. Yep. So for somebody who has never used POS, Uh, so, uh, why uh, use Haiku when you never actually use BOS? Uh, well, there are many reasons. Uh, there's the fact that uh, there's a lot of different versions of Haiku. 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 There's and you wonder why your laptop is swapping and yeah, update DB. Um, and you can, it, it's used for emails like subjects and uh, from to, so you can actually, uh, you don't even need to run your mail client to know that you do have new mails. Um, and we have, uh, yeah, nice features like the, uh, the file browser. We have, uh, it's called X-ray navigation. So you just pop a context menu, and you can have the subfolders and submenus, and you can even use it for uh, drag and drop. So you can just drag and drop over a folder. It opens a context menu. You don't have to wait for ten windows to open and close. Uh, so we do things differently. Uh, we explore stuff, uh, and yeah, we just show how it could be done. Um, and sometimes uh, the Linux people invent things uh, BOS had 10 years ago, like tickless. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Some another question? Don't be shy, yeah? Are there any compatibility layers for <coughs> other binary formats? So, compatibility layers for other binary formats. We do have a compatibility layers for BSD drivers. So for free BSD drivers, we use their uh, network drivers for Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Wi uh, so it's a static lib. We just uh, compile the driver with it, and we get a Haiku driver without touching the, the code. Well, mostly we do send some fixes sometimes. Um, we do have uh, Qt ports. Uh, we don't have GTK. Uh, we do have uh, SDL and some other stuff. We, do, we have many uh, languages. We do have Rust and Go, I think. It's maybe not uh, packaged yet uh, properly, but... Um, and uh, Java, of course. It took us some time. Uh, we don't have Wine yet, so if you want to... If you're interested, I mean, who uses Windows? <coughs> yeah? 
one of the big selling points of the OS was the performance of the kernel with regards to things like multimedia. I was wondering how Haiku compares <coughs> with the in that regard. Uh, so, um, BOS uh, used to be a uh, great at multimedia because the kernel was fast and uh, so how does Haiku compare? Um, actually, the BOS kernel wasn't that fast. I did a benchmark like uh, 15 years ago and it was like 10 times slower than Linux. But the, the way it, it, it works, like it was uh, really uh, multi-threaded at the time and the applications were also multi-threaded. So each window has the, its own event loop in a thread. So when a, a window blo blocks something, it, it's like calculations or something, it doesn't stay the whole application. So even if it's slower, you can actually feel it's faster because it's more responsive. So it's not so much of a speed issue, but uh, responsiveness. And does Haiku have that responsiveness as well? Uh, so yeah, Haiku does have this, this responsiveness because we model everything, well, mostly uh, everything uh, like BOS, we do have threads in uh, Windows and because it's written in, into the API, just like as if uh, Qt, when you create a, a window, it actually just spawns the thread for you. Uh, yeah, well, three more minutes. Yep. Yeah. Um, <coughs> uh, so your a uh, Wi-Fi driver has been broken for a while, so I, how can you fix it? Uh, well, you can uh, come to us and uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, you can, uh, of course, uh, submit a bug report. Uh, you can create a ticket and we'll uh, uh, and come to IRC because uh, everybody still uses IRC, I hope. Um, we can help you there. How many people do use Haiku on a physical device? At least two over there. <laughs> and three. Well, wow, great. Yeah. Uh, well, I do have uh, an NVIDIA card in this machine, so it's, uh, I have a full HD panel, but only this display is, so it's, well, not really handy. So I have a VM, but uh, we don't really have figures. Uh, I think we might find some download figures, but uh, real hardware versus um, virtual machine, I'm not sure. Yeah. How many people use Haiku at all? Uh, how many people use Haiku at all? Same, same answer. I don't really know. At least two, <laughs> three, <laughs> and four, of course. Yeah. 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 You have no guesses. Hundreds, thousands. Uh, f I have really no idea. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ex <laughs> exactly. We don't track our users, so we don't know. Well, we do have bug reports, people telling it's great, sometimes people, people complaining on the forum, so yeah, at least some people. Yeah, I think we can wrap it up. Any more question? Nextcloud has, has uh, rebuilt their clients with the latest version of Nextcloud, so uh, that might make the work a little bit easier. Nextcloud? Yeah, they, they've basically completely re- uh, Ah, they've rewritten their client. Scratch, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I started the port, the port like six months ago, so... Uh, well, a bit more. Uh, yeah. What uh, web browsers are available on Haiku? <coughs> so, uh, what web browsers on Haiku? We have a native browser called uh, Web Positive, which actually uh, runs a WebKit inside, uh, thanks to Adria. Um, we do have um, uh, WebKit browsers base, uh, based um, using uh, Qt. So, uh, uh, Capzilla or whatever. We don't have Firefox because Firefox, they keep changing their minds, so we stopped following them. Maybe we'll look at it again. Thank you, everyone.